So you just bought your brand new DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which is what we're filming on right now. But if you're like me, you got the standard kit instead of the creator combo. Now you're in the market for a wireless lavalier microphone, but you find that at $98 a piece, the DJI Mic 2 is too expensive. Or maybe it's too bulky, or maybe the whole package with a charging case is just too heavy for you. Enter the Mayono WM620. You can get these for around $50 and you get two wireless lavalier mics. This is the USB-C version that's normally designed for Android and iPhone 15 and onwards. But I figured, hey, maybe this is a great budget mic for the Osmo Pocket 3. Question is, will it work? And will it sound good? There's only one way to find out. Let the unboxing begin. And by the way, Mayono did send me this microphone, but everything I say in this video are my thoughts only. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Look at that premium text. You got a manual with illustrations and the charging case itself. Wow, it looks like one of those makeup clamshell things. What else is inside? Got a Type C to Type A cable and you got these magnets. They're, they're magnets for a reason. Let's open the case. Ooh, huh. those are a bit larger than I thought they'd be. But you get two microphones or transmitters. So both of these transmitters actually come with these transmitter one and transmitter two labels. These light up when you're pairing to the receiver. Each of these has a six hour battery life and you get 12 more hours with a charging case. So here you got your battery life indicator. You got your noise canceling indicator, your reverb or singing indicator. And TX just means it's connected to the receiver. And you get that one receiver. And this is what you plug into your Osmo Pocket 3 slash Android phone. You can see here it's got four different gain settings. Pretty convenient. And you've got this purple noise canceling slash mute button. Plus the receiver also has a charging port so you can record and charge at the same time. It's also got a headphone jack so you can listen to your voice in real time. And you can also listen to your voice live using a pair of USB-C headphones connected to the USB-C jack of the mic itself. It's got a tap to mute button. This is the power switch. Two levels of noise canceling. An LED indicator so you know if you're recording a singing button, which I presume is the reverb button. And this is one of the most mind-blowing features at this price point and size. It's got a mic jack, so you can plug in a lavalier microphone. I think weight really matters with these mics, so let's see how much this weighs. One receiver is about 12.3 grams, and the charging case is... 73.8 grams. That is about one third the weight of the DJI Mic 2 charging case. Now the whole kit weighs 106.1 grams, which is a weight I'm comfortable having with me all day, every day without even thinking about it. For reference, that's less than half the weight of my caseless iPhone 12 Pro Max coming in at 240.4 grams, almost three times the weight of this. All right, let's take this mic out for a spin. And just like that, it's working. I just plugged in the receiver into the Osmo Pocket 3's USB-C port and I turned this on and they paired and it's working, that's it. Just a bit of an unfortunate thing here, uh, even though you got the receiver plugged in right there, the Osmo Pocket 3 does not show it as a wireless lav mic because as you can see, they want you to use the DJI mic too, so you have no way to control the gain, the low cut filter, and all those things. That's fine. You don't have a low cut filter with the Mayono. And just so we can appreciate how good this actually sounds, this is how the Osmo Pocket 3 sounds using its internal mics. Okay, let's test the Mayono WM620's various gain settings. With the gain set to one, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Gain set to two, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Gain set to three, and my voice is a bit quieter so it doesn't clip. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Gain setting four, with my voice even quieter. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. We've just gone outdoors and I'm using the real-time monitoring feature. And there is a bit of lag, but it's a tolerable amount of lag. Now you can hear the entire neighborhood. Perfect place for noise canceling. So this is how it sounds without noise canceling. And now we're using noise canceling level one. They call it indoor noise cancellation. We are outdoors though. How does this sound? 
Quick note, the lag with the real-time monitoring has increased and it's a little bit distracting. Now this is noise canceling level two. They call it outdoor noise reduction. How does this sound? You hear the neighborhood? This is how I sound. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Let's turn it off right now. And that's how it normally sounds. And this is how the singing feature slash reverb feature sounds. Yeah, it kind of makes me want to break out into song, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of my neighbors. So let's try singing plus noise canceling. Okay. So you got both singing and indoor noise cancellation right now. Let's do level two. So we got outdoor noise reduction and the singing slash reverb effect. How does this sound? Now that's very laggy. Okay, so let's actually test the indoor noise reduction indoors. So let's try that. And this is how that sounds. Indoor noise reduction. I don't think there's no point using outdoor here. But this is outdoor noise reduction indoors. As you can hear, I've set my AC to jet mode for maximum noise. And this is how it sounds without noise rejection. There we go. Indoor noise reduction. How does this sound? I can barely hear the AC through my monitors. Outdoor noise reduction. I think it's been completely obliterated. Noise reduction off. Now let's hear how the WM620 sounds with a lavalier microphone. This is how it sounds as is. It's gonna be noisy when I click it, so I'm gonna hit the mute button. And here's how that sounds. This is the Behringer BC Lav Go. You can put it here on my shirt like so. And the great thing about this is now you can use noise canceling like so, and even the singing slash reverb mode with any microphone that you attach to it. This gives me a new sense of appreciation for this mic I haven't used in a long time. Okay, what I'm about to show you is insane. This here is the Mayono PD400X, an XLR microphone. I was using it in USB-C mode earlier in this video, but now we're gonna use it in XLR mode. You get an XLR female to TRS male 3.5 millimeter cable. I plug this end into the back of this mic, like so, and this goes here. And now we have a wireless XLR setup. I do need to use more gain now, so let's use gain setting 4. Mayono PD400X connected to the Mayono WM620 wireless microphone. Just gonna take my headphones out for a bit. And now that I have this set up, I can put this in my pocket, clip it like so. And now I have wireless freedom with this XLR microphone. Okay, not, not totally wireless, but you get the idea. Okay, I'm finding the clip is a little loose, so let's actually use the magnets that came with this. You get two of these. That is a strong magnet. Ooh. So this is how the setup looks in my pocket with a magnet. Not sure this is the most secure way of using it. Okay, I'm going to do this distance test in our neighborhood. And I'm going to put it right here where I can see the Osmo Pocket 3. Let's test that range. Is it following me? Is it following me? Can it hear me? I'm sure it can hear me. Yep, can it hear me? I think it can. I think it can. I think it can hear me, and the cicadas are probably bothering you now, so I am going to go ahead and press that, that noise cancelling button. Indoor noise cancelling, and this should be outdoor noise cancelling. I look like a weirdo right now. The entire neighborhood must be looking, and I think you can still see me. You can see me. I can hear or I can see the Osmo Pocket 3, I am keeping my eyes on it because I don't want anyone to be grabbing it. I can hear dogs where I'm at. Right now I see ducks. Yeah, I don't want to be where the dogs are, so I am getting out of here. I am getting out of here. I am getting out of here. Let's remove that noise canceling. You should be able to hear the neighborhood again. 
I think that that's how it works. All right, Osmo Pocket 3. Hopefully nobody knows we're filming. Let's see how this sounds. And by the way, the magnets used this way are pretty snug. Don't easily come off. Tap it, tap it. Doesn't easily come off. Just in case if you were wondering if both mics actually work, I'll hand the other one to my wife who does not want to be seen. Say hello. Hello. One more time. Hello. Should be working. Hello. Yeah. Let's do a quick guitar test without reverb. This is how it sounds in vocals. How it sounds in vocals. With reverb. This is how it sounds in vocals. How it sounds in vocals. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons. For the pros, it's budget friendly, portable, very light. You get two microphones and a ton of features. And yes, it does sound good as is. It's not broadcast quality, but it's a lav mic and it sounds pretty good. And again, if you're not happy with the sound, you can upgrade the sound with a lavalier mic, even an XLR mic. And I have to say, the signal to noise ratio performance at this price is great. A lot of wireless lavalier mics at this price point have a lot of that background hiss, like a the WM620 still has some, but not so much that it bothers me. And if it does bother you, you got noise reduction, which flattens that noise floor. Granted, this does not sound as good, but hey, it's a great feature to have. The fact that I can monitor my voice right now, live, with or without effects, is bonkers. That is going to prevent a lot of unwanted mistakes and a lot of post-processing. And right now, it seems my Osmo Pocket 3 is about to die, so thankfully, I can actually charge charge it even while the receiver is plugged in. So now I'm charging. And guys, come on, wait. It's all about the weight. The Osmo Pocket 3 without accessories is about 200 grams. If you have a 200 gram camera, you do not want to be lugging around a 300 gram charging case. If that's your preference, that's totally understandable. I just recall having the Hollyland Lark C1 with a charging case that was about 100 plus grams. I carried that all day, every day without thinking about it. But the DJI mic was unwieldy in comparison. The DJI mic was kind of light and kind of small, but still noticeably heavy and bulky that I'd have to decide whether I wanted to bring it or not. So for absolute top audio quality, 32-bit float, internal recording, if those features matter to you, then perhaps the DJI Mic 2 is of good value. But this single kit is half the cost of a DJI Mic 2 transmitter and one eighth the cost of a DJI Mic 2 set. And even if you get all those features, that is going to be more than double the weight of this, almost three times its weight. Okay, so you get all of these amazing features, but what are the cons? One, it's the Mayono branding. I'm a bit picky at this point and just want to hide that. And thankfully you can by using a lavalier mic. But I'm at that stage where I don't want to use a lavalier mic. The whole benefit of using something like this is that it's completely wireless. And the second con has to be the sound quality. I'd still say it's about a 7.5, maybe an 8 out of 10. Like this sound as is doesn't exactly wow you when you first listen to it. But this is significantly better than using the internal mic. Hey, it's Feature Dave here and let me just add a couple of cons. So the first is the clip isn't as reliable as I'd like it to be. It is tight, but uh, it's, it's tight enough. I can, again, move around, vlog with it, no problem at all. But you know, just the, the slightest pulling motion takes it out so I don't have a lot of confidence that it's going to be secure over a long period. The second transmitter doesn't automatically unpair from the receiver unless you unpair it. And yeah, that led to redundancy for me. I had the second transmitter, as you can see, even in the case, it is still on. So to pair and unpair, you just have to press the noise canceling button three times and it blinks. It's blinking right there. And now this is connected. Let's unpair it. And it is now disconnected. And here's one last but notable con. Do you hear that? Yeah, if you listen long enough, you're gonna notice that the noise floor tends to be erratic. It goes 
That probably has to do with the mic preamps. I suspect it is because their Myono Caster C2 Neo had a similar preamp issue. Now it isn't horrible and it doesn't stick out the first time you record with this mic, but it is there. So I'm going to have to drop the score from an almost 8 to a flat 7 maybe a 6.7 and i give it that grace because your core vocal frequencies are still intact you don't have a lot of sibilance you don't have plosives not a lot of boxiness or boominess so your voice remains inoffensive but it also isn't impressive it sounds objectively clean but there is some missing warmth so for this noise floor con the solution really is to use the noise canceling but the problem is it cuts out even more of your core vocal frequencies but at least the noise floor wouldn't be as distracting but overall it is still an incredible package so do i recommend this mic yes i can if your top priority with a wireless lavalier mic is decent audio plus maximum portability and if you're on a limited budget if you don't mind having a bit of branding and if this sounds good enough to you i think the mayono wm620 is a solid contender for being the best budget wireless lavalier mic for the dji osmo pocket 3 however if you want to get rid of those cons and you do have the budget you want to keep that lightweight charging case form factor still not as heavy as the dji mic 2 and if you want potentially better sound while concealing the logo then stay tuned for my review of the hollyland lark m2 wireless lavalier microphone and even then the wm620 has a number of things it can do that the lark m2 can now to my knowledge the wm620 at about 54 dollars is the most versatile content creation mic that you can get at this price point and i quite like it if you like this video check out this one